Hello everyone, I am by Moomin and today I'll be showing you how to install the force feedback plugin for the Logitech Wheels. Uh, it works for both ETS2 and ATS and I have the G29 myself and it's really really good. It really makes a difference. So basically you go to this link, it's the official SCS forum and you're gonna read everything to make sure you understand what you're doing and first and foremost you're gonna download the forest feedback plugin it's this link here this one and to install it uh, you're gonna drop into one of these paths the only difference is that since we nowadays use the 64 bits version of the game instead of win underscore x86 we will be putting the, the plugin files on win underscore x64 <clears throat> okay so you have to download those two files these two files it's really straightforward download I'm not gonna download it because I have this installed already and for this one since we we're gonna use the 64 version just like that you select the 64 bits version and next okay now that you have both installed you're gonna open the plugin it's gonna be just this inside the zip it's a zip file and you're gonna go to steam I'm mentioning steam because that's what I use you're gonna right click on your game you're gonna click properties and you're gonna get this string right here and you're gonna go to local files browse local files and it's gonna come up with this game's path as you can see it's similar to the one that shows up in here because that's the default installation path of every steam game and you're gonna keep going Ben win underscore x64 you might not have this folder here um, if you don't you just have to create it really really easy right click new folder and then you have to name it plugins and you're gonna go in here select these files and you're gonna drag and drop I don't have to do that because I already have them here and another thing you have to do is you gotta go to the Logitech software access properties you have to disable the centering spring in force feedback games and the centering spring strength has to be zero and then settings G29 you don't want to allow games to adjust force settings and the last detail you have to disable the force feedback inside the game you really do if you follow those steps it will work for you and I hope this helps clearing things up a little bit I've had quite a few viewers followers asking me about that on discord or on twitch and that's how it's done it's really easy really straightforward and if you have any doubts or even suggestions for future videos let me know down below and if you enjoyed be sure to subscribe to my channel like and don't forget the notification bell so you'll be notified of my future videos yeah I'll see you guys real soon.